Dan Bjorklund, Landis Technical Agronomist. I'm out here in a corn on corn field. Uh, we've had tar spot in the last two years over north central Iowa. We've had significant rain. We've had some of the highest rain totals for May uh, all time. And so I am concerned about tar spot, and this video is basically about leaf disease potential in the next 30 days. Tar spot's got to be number one. And I know you say, Dan, you've talked about tar spot a lot. Look at this slide from two years ago in northeast Iowa. This was tar spot we found first week. The next week, we found it had blown up to this level. And by the end of August, this is what we found. And we had a 50 bushel yield loss. So I don't want to overly hype this, this thing, but this year we have absolutely ideal conditions. It's um, about 10 o'clock in, uh, in this lower canopy that I was checking. Um, they're still due. You need seven hours of wet conditions. Uh, how many days have we had wet leaf conditions? So tar spot and some of the other leaf diseases are a big deal. Gonna make this a short video. Here's three things to do. Number one, scout your field. Number two, make sure that you talk to your land as account leads and have fungicide set up and, and are ready uh, to go. Uh, if tar spot comes in and starts to blow up because we have found it in four counties in Iowa already. This is one of the earliest we've seen it um, in June uh, and we have a long season to go. And number three, pull the trigger when you get uh, those levels starting to grow because if you see one or two lesions, that means a tar spot has been in that corn, uh, corn leaf two weeks already. Uh, if you see it, basically you've got, it. And, what you, what you really want to do is be preventative. Uh, you want to go out there and, and spray your corn at V2. We've got ideal conditions. By the time we wait to see if we have it, it's too late, guys. Um, I know this is a pretty serious video, or, you know, I mean, but this is my biggest concern uh, this year across the Corn Belt because we have ideal conditions uh, for tar spot. Uh, the tar spotter app that has been put out by the disease consortium of universities almost shows every field with that high potential. So uh, that's what I'm uh, seeing uh, today. We'll keep track of it. We find it. We will report back uh, with, with a quick video. But for now, Dan Bjorklund, Landis, Techn Landis Technical Agronomist signing off.